welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i created this quite easy flower pot cake um this week here in germany is uh, we're going to celebrate mother's day so that was my occasion for baking this first off i started with um, baking my favorite chocolate cake just a regular very simple chocolate cake just use whatever chocolate cake you prefer uh, as long as it's chocolate because we need a few pieces of the chocolate cake as you see right here we are cutting a few pieces off on the top because we need those to put back on the top in a while so um, just bake it in this long rectangular shape I don't know what you call this in English but I'm sure you know where to find it because it's uh, quite the easy shape um, just bake it as, as you would usually do let it cool completely after that um, cut a, a small piece of it on top of it off because that's what we need later, as I said. Um, and I also cut uh, one side of the long shape off so we can have a perfect rectangular shape because I'm sticking it back on the other side. So we have, yeah, just a perfect, uh, perfect square shape. Okay, um, I'm filling and covering my whole cake with some uh, Swiss meringue buttercream, which uh, also has some uh, uh, just melted chocolate because I wanted to have some uh, chocolate buttercream easy as it is um, so just uh, you could also use instead of the buttercream if you're not a fan of the buttercream you could also use some ganache that will work just as well um, just type in Google Swiss meringue buttercream or ganache and you'll find multiple recipes I'm sure um, yeah okay so after I filled my whole cake and stuck everything back together I uh, completely covered my cake as you see right here with my buttercream now I'm trying to smooth out all the edges as best as I can and then I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator for around one hour so everything gets nice and firm and um, we can easily work with it afterwards <laughs> All right, continue with the next step. I colored a big piece of fondant in some beige, light brown kind of color. Um, the fondant I'm using right here is called Masaticino. It's made in Switzerland. It's my favorite brand, as you all know right now. Um, I used it in multiple videos. It's my first choice in everything uh, whenever I'm working with fondant. Just maybe you can search it for yourself on Google. Masaticino, it's awesome. As you see right here, I'm just rolling out my fondant with some cornstarch so nothing sticks to my table. And what I'm also doing right now is just trimming the edges a little bit because I was trying to roll everything out in a rectangular kind of shape because we're going to cover uh, our cake and fondant, as you might be able to guess. haha. <laughs> so um, yeah, just trim a few of your edges. And the next step you gotta do is um, grab some alcohol, preferably some very, very strong alcohol. If you have vodka, grab your vodka. Or if you have anything even more, um, st e even stronger, I'm using 95% uh, alcohol. That's awesome. Just grab that. As long as it's very, very strong, you can use it. Uh, what I also did was um, taking some reddish brown rusty color kind of um, luster dust and some brown gel color as you saw right here just mixing everything with my alcohol we're going to use that for um, coloring everything but before we do that I uh, grabbed my um, how is it called what's it called a modeling tool a pointy one you could also use the back of your knife or a toothpick um, I'm just trying to give my fondant my rolled out fondant some texture to make it look like wood, like uh, wood grain. Um, so yeah, just try to make some squiggly lines and um, just some texture, I guess. Uh, after you've done that, take your alcohol mixture and uh, paint everything roughly with your um, alcohol mixture so you have a lot more of your uh, texture coming through and showing better. Uh, if you don't want to use any alcohol, you could also use just some um, cocoa some yeah some just some cocoa and dust everything on your um dust the cocoa on your fondant that will work just as well it's not the same effect but it would it would also do the trick a bit okay um what i'm doing right here is i measured my whole cake all four sides and now i'm going to cut my uh, fondant as big or as small as i need it so uh, you need two larger larger pieces for the long sides 
uh, and two smaller pieces. After I cut those um, as, as long as I big as I needed them, I stuck them in the refrigerator for around 15 minutes so they would get nice and firm and now I can just press them against my cake and um, that's, that's almost it. That's almost everything you gotta do. Just cut them to the, um, to the size you need them, cool them for around 15 minutes and then stick them on um, against your cake. Uh, I had some excess, which you can see right here. I'm just cutting off with uh, normal scissors, clean, squeaky clean normal scissors. Please just make sure they are nice and clean. Um, cut off the excess, but let a little bit of your fondant um, be too long on the top. I don't know how I, how uh, how else I could describe it. But um, as you can see, I have around one centimeter, which is sticking up at the top, which you will need because that's what going to make it look like a flower pot. Um, so make sure you have that uh, sticking up at the top. After you've got that done, you're kind of almost there. <laughs> I took some of my alcohol color again and just briefly, really briefly, um, just colored everything back again. The, um, the cut edges we have left over, which are a bit lighter color, I'm trying to cover them with the color again so everything looks nice and um, just complete and finished and we don't have no cutting edges which are showing in brighter. Okay, after that, that looks good, in my opinion, right? Right? <laughs> um, we're going to continue with the leftover chocolate cake we had already cut off. You're going to just, um, uh, how do I explain this? Just rub it between your hands, between your palms. We have um, a lot of crumbs so that it looks like dirt and we can put that back on our cake uh, yeah, so that it looks like dirt and the uh, flowers are sticking right out of it. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm trying to say, so um, just leave it at that. I just put everything back on it again and now you can see why you uh, have to leave some room on top and leave your fun and sticking up a bit. So you have enough room to uh, put your dirt crumbs <laughs> on top. Okay, almost last step, I took um, some straws and just stuck them right in my cake because a lot of our flowers we're using right here in Germany, uh, you c uh, they are not edible and I don't want them to touch my cake um, when I stick them in the cake. So I'm just using the straws inside the cake to prevent my flowers to touch the cake. Oh, that was a lot of cake. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Just um, take your straws, put them in, um, just go to your local flower shop and uh, see if they have any nice colorful bushy um, flowers or maybe the favorite flowers of your uh, of your mom would be nice or just go in your garden if you have a nice garden um, just just cut your flowers there and just stick them in your cake I think that would be awesome as well as you can see right here it's coming to together quite nicely I really really like the finished product product of my cake and um, my mama just really really enjoyed it. it was awesome quite easy as you see I mean there wasn't hard at all I think it would be great for beginners as well um, one last thing I did was I uh, took one of those cake picks I don't know and then I just wrote um, a message for my mama put that inside and the last thing I'm doing is um, taking some very nice ribbon and just putting that around my cake as well so everything looks nice and run and ready and um, like a present kind of and that's all I did so quite easy again as I promised I hope you like this video let me know if there's anything uh, I forgot to cover you would like to let me know leave me a thumbs up I would really appreciate that don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and um, I hope I'll see you in the next video bye